Today, we are going to open up this big package. This is the Dynamic Duo by Sage or by Breville, depending on where you live in the world. And it consists of the Smart Grinder Pro as well as a Breville Duo Boiler. Now these come in different configurations. You can get these either standalone, so either just the dual boiler machine or the grinder, but you can save some money if you get it packaged together like this one. So let's just take a look. And before we start, I wanna say one more thing. The Breville dual boiler is probably the most economical dual boiler that there is on the market. So I'm very curious to check it out. All right, let's go ahead and start with the accessories. What you got here is a 58 millimeter tamper that gets sucked up into the coffee machine, which is really cool. A pitcher right here for steaming your milk. Nice hefty pitcher and it comes also with some tools inside. You got a little pokey tool, a rubber disc for cleaning the portafilter, various accessories, some cleaning solution, some descaler, you got some cleaning tablets. So that's good that all that stuff is included because you will need it. Let's get to the more interesting part. Here is the large 58 millimeter hefty portafilter. That is a nice dual spout one, quite handsome, nice design. Then what else is interesting is we've got four baskets, two singles and two double baskets. Now what's interesting about these is on the right side, it says use with pre-ground coffee. So these are the baskets that have just the one pin hole on the other side. These are the pressurized baskets. Now keep these because if you ever have pre-ground coffee, this is what you need. But if you are using fresh coffee, which is really the ideal, then you're going to want one like this with all kinds of holes in it. This is an unpressurized basket and that's what we're going to be using. Got a double in there and a single as well. And then of course we got a bunch of directions, which is always good to have. I do recommend to read through the directions and to really be aware of the cleaning schedule. That's important for good preventative maintenance on your machine. Then we've also got here a razor. A razor is just, oh, look at this, this one is bronze. That's pretty cool. So this is just, if you've filled up your basket too much, you can just kind of scrape it off like that to get the right depth there. So you have enough headroom up above the puck. That's a pretty color. What is this? Water filter and holder. Okay. So yeah, a water filter as well. Very important because a lot of areas in the world have really hard water and that just wreaks havoc on your coffee machines. So I do recommend to use softened water or in the case here, you get a filter from the manufacturer. That's nice. We'll just put that together. Got to let that soak in some water for five minutes. We want to do that as we open up the machine. So let's go ahead and prime this filter. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. All right, here's the interesting part. Here comes the machine. All righty, very nice. Now we are ready. Let's open up the grinder here. Oh, it's pretty handsome. Have not seen one of these before. It's got a nice stainless steel housing on there. The blades, of course, the burrs are stainless steel as well. Okay, so that's the grinder right there. And it does also come with this little catch cup. Let's put the grinder down for now and let's check out the dual boiler. Here we go. Uh huh. All right, right here is the water tank. It comes out of the back and I think you might be able to fill it from the front though. What does it say? Fill with cold water only. So here we got our pretty nice size water tank. And what's excellent is it does have an indicator here. It's got a sensor so it knows when it's starting to run out of water. Let's take our primed filter and put that in there. And we're just gonna stick this into the back of the machine. So here you can see the back of the machine and here I'm just gonna stick, oh, pull to unlock, very nice. Stuck the water tank back in and let's flip this back the other way. All right, so what have we all got on this machine? We've got several knobs. We've got a steam knob here. We'll leave that closed for now. We've got a nice manometer. And what I really like about the Breville dual boiler is that it's got bar numbers on there so that you know when you're eight or nine bar. Very nice. 
<laughs> of course, it's got a display here so you can see what temperature that you're extracting at. Here we've got a very nice looking steam wand on a pivoting ball joint. Very nice. And we've got a three, a three hole steam tip. Excellent. All right, so before we plug in the machine and do anything else, let's fill it up with water and then we'll turn it on and prime it. All right, and here's the moment of truth. Let's turn it on. Okay, looks like it's asking me for water hardness. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put five because we have really hard water. Now it's got to fill up two boilers. So this is going to take a while. What's nice is that it auto primes. You just turn it on, set the water hardness, and it's going to prime both the brew boiler and the steam boiler without having to do anything else. That's a nice feature. Alrighty, so the machine has finished its auto priming process and we're done. It's heating up right now. We're at 84 degrees Celsius. What I would like to do anyway is make sure that we got water coming out of the water spout and the brew group. So let's just, let's just do that right away. All right. Good news, we got water coming out of the brew group. So far, so good. Let's make sure that the hot water spout is also primed. Here's the knob on the side here. Excellent. Alrighty, so we got the machine primed. We got water coming out of the brew group. Let's check the steam ones. Oh, some pretty dry steam, that's nice. We can put our tamper in place. All right, at this point, the machine has been commissioned. Let's just look at a few more details. If you remove the drip tray here, what you're gonna notice is that they got a little tool tray hidden back there, which is nice. You can put your tools in there, hide them back there. Then they've also got here wheels to move the machine. So if you flip this at to six o'clock, look at that, you can move the machine around. That's excellent for cleaning underneath the machine. Very nice. Let's lock that back up and now it's really steady again. So that is a delightful feature. Alrighty, let's just have a look at the menu here. You get a very nice brushed stainless steel front, by the way, with just a few buttons, a power button. You've got a nice manometer with the number of bar on there as well. On the gauge, you've got a manual button so that you can stop and start as you want. You got a single and a double espresso button as well. On the left side over here, you've got your hot water. And on the right side, you got your steam. Now looking into the menu, what we got going on is first of all, the shot volume. We're going to go a little bit further into the shot temperature. That's at 94 degrees right now. You can set that down to 93 if you like. The next one is what I like a lot. It's the auto start on off. I've got it on on because then you can set the time that you want this to turn on in the morning. So I want it to start at 515 AM. Excellent. Then you got the clean cycle and finally you can set the clock. So right now it is 828. There we go, good to go. And we can exit out of the menu. Now we're all set up and it's gonna be nice and heated up for me the next morning. Alright, I hope that this video was helpful for you and until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.